Imagine a strong-willed organizer overseeing the sprawling juniors and recreational tennis scene in Atlanta in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. Imagine a talent scout who knew who the next phenom would be before anyone else. Imagine a parent nurturing six exceptional young tennis prodigies. Now, imagine that same person doing all of that while gingerly holding a glass of tea. You could always see her walking around with that ubiquitous glass of tea in her hand. I saw Carrie come in with her glass of iced tea and sit down in the bleachers and I thought, oh, how nice. She was never seen without that tea. Always a fixture with her iced tea, with her white hat. No less an authority than Dan McGill was once heard to say, I've never known anyone who encouraged players any more enthusiastically than Carrie Howell. Caroline Carey Howell was a northern transplant who in a classy but direct way pretty well ran tennis in Atlanta and beyond. Oh, Carey Howell was a, the queen of southern tennis. She was a, a fine person. What you saw was what you got with, with Carey. But Miss Howell was the boss. She ran all the tournaments. She knew what every age group people were in. She did all the rankings. No slouch with a racket herself, Carrie Howell and her husband Arthur saw greater things on the court for their brood of tennis playing children. All six kids were exceptional players, winning juniors and collegiate titles. And all six knew who was watching every winner and every unforced error. Richard uh, often heard refer to his family as a matriarchy, and, and that was certainly the case. Uh, you know, all of the Howells, uh, Arthur, Carrie, her six children were strong personalities, uh, but there was never any question about whose personality was the strongest. Uh, it was Carrie's. Very uh, visible with her, her clan that was playing. There was um, Speed, Richard, Peter, Jimbo, uh, Lindy, and Eleanor, Ellie, they called her. And they were all at the, um, you know, competing for the top prize in the junior tournaments and she was always around rooting them on. Even today I think she's still looking down on them and very proud that they're still playing and playing so well and have um, been very active in the tennis world. She was just a treasure and I think what I love so much about Carrie was that I knew her two different ways as the as a parent and then as what I felt like was a peer. So um, she was one of my all-time tennis heroes. She worked as a referee, a tournament director, a historian, and an overall tennis impresario. But mostly, she was a master motivator and developer of young players. The last year, the 18s for me and the uh, Georgia State closed, upset the number one seed, Larry Schnall, won in love, and I get a little food poisoning. Lost in the semis to a guy who I never should have lost to, named Davy Kent, nice fella, but I mean, she, she, she never lost to him. But a guy named Gil Gain and I won the doubles that year. We'd, We'd always been ranked number one in doubles, and I came home and Ms. Howell said, tell me about the tournament. I said, well, I kind of did okay in doubles, kind of lost in singles. She said, I know you lost in singles. How can you beat Larry Snall, one in love, and lose to somebody named David Kent, who I don't even know who it is? And that sort of summed it up right there. She was a woman perfectly suited for a burgeoning sport in a growing city. She may have been different things to different people, but... There's no doubt about it. She was the mother of Atlanta tennis. You know, I've only known a, a few other people whose personalities were so dominant that you wanted to do what they were doing just because they were doing it. And uh, I, I know that I always uh, tread a little more softly, chose my words more carefully when I was in her presence, uh, not wanting to do or say something that would let her down. Uh, she had very high standards, but those high standards led everyone who knew her to perform a little better because uh, we, we wanted to measure up. Caroline Carey Howell, a most deserving member of the Georgia Tennis Hall of Fame.